Hello all. So in this tutorial, we are going to model a interior, model texture and light it in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference over here. Let's go into rendering, view image file. Let's go into the desktop and let's go into the interior augers and we'll make a interior over here. We are going to model this. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be taking a plane over here. Let's take a plane. Let's give a color to it. Let's go on to the top view over here. Scale it. Go into AEC extended. And let's just take a wall over here. So definitely we only require a smaller area over here. We don't require a very uh, larger area. So let's first we'll just model it. So right click convert to editable poly over here. Let's take a swift loop over here or else just select this whole loop over here and let's just give a connect to it just push it over there alright now we'll be starting up over here let's create a window over here for that let's take a swift loop over here let's create a swift loop over here so you can just push the window till here so take again a swift loop on the top or we'll be just pushing this a bit up definitely all right so select this polygons over here select this polygon over here select this and select this and let's give a bridge option over here so we can just uh, bridge this area over here so let's go into this side view over here and let's create a box over here So select this box, just push this box over here and convert to editable poly, go into the vertices, just push this a bit down and we can just select this over here. First we'll make a duplicate of this box, select this box select this and this do inset let's inset a bit after doing the inset over here and let's give a bridge option much better all right after that what we'll be doing is like if you want to generate some details over here that can be generated but we'll just thicken the wall a bit so we'll just thicken a bit over here select this just scale a bit and just push this over here so let's save the file first over here 
so let's save the file go into file save as swift loop over here so ring it connect it <coughs> so you can just connect this click ok over here so let's select this edge ring it and control and click on the polygon inset it or you can just go with it and give a bevel by local normal and push it inside of it that's it so same thing will go with this just press alt and r for ring go into polygon and again give a bell and just take up the over once you are done with this just save your file over here so select this select this window just push this over here convert to editable poly it's already converted to editable poly let's just push this over here select the top vertices push that all right so once you are done so we can go again into this select this and uh, first we can just make it in the two window form also so we can just select this and we'll just make this as half over here so we'll just scale it scale this window over here so select the polygons over here and let's use a bit of inset let's use inset over here and use a bit of bevel so beveling will be inside can just bevel this all right that's it perfect so we'll be just uh, duplicating this window over here and we'll just push this a bit behind the other window so we can just scale this panel So let's go to the top view over here. <coughs> so select this. R and scale this select this all right and just duplicate this over here So keep your saving your file. 
so we can just create a frame now over here we'll be creating this afterwards so we'll be just managing it in this way so we'll be just setting up a camera afterwards all right so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial